Hi, welcome to Cooking with Philly. My name is Elena Madeira, and today we're going to be making a fabulous, easy shrimp cocktail. Now, the first item that you're going to need is some of Philly's premium wild caught shrimp. You're going to want to get a 2630 or a 3135. The reason that we get this size is because you don't have to devein it. Any bigger, you're going to definitely have to do that. So what we're going to do first with this shrimp is you boil it for three minutes. Boiling any longer than three minutes will mess up the shrimp and make it really rubbery. So set a timer, make sure that you have the water boiling, and then once you put it in, three minutes, no longer than that. Once it's boiled, you take it out and chop it into fine pieces like this, um, small, small pieces right there. The next item that we're going to need is some cilantro, um, a nice fresh bushel of cilantro. We want to do a half a bushel, and whenever you chop it, you only want to use the leaves. See this stem area? We don't want to use that. So I've already had my half a bushel chopped and ready to go. We're also going to need some green onions. You, when chopping up a green onion, you want to remove the top and the bottom. But you chop, uh, you use everything, um, the green and the white part of the onion. And then finally, we have some green serrano peppers. If you're one of those people that likes really spicy food, you can add the seeds and then whenever you're chopping it up and leave the seeds in there. However, I'm not one of those. I can't do too spicy, so I removed the seeds prior to chopping it finely and putting it in my bowl. Um, and then we need seven limes to get it started. However, everything is to taste, so if you feel like you need more limes, then you can definitely add more lime juice. We just always start with seven and go from there. Uh, we also need to have some spicy V8. It's very important that you get the spicy um, the spicy hot one because otherwise it's, you're going to mess up your whole dish. And then we need uh, some yummy Tabasco sauce. And again, you just you put this into taste. Also, salt and pepper. We always have to use our salt and pepper to flavor. And let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to go ahead and pour our shrimp in our bowl. Make sure it's nice and all in there. And then we want to get our spicy V8, and we want to pour it to make sure that it's covering it. It's nice and covered. I'm going to go ahead and pour the whole, the whole thing nice and covered. Our next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our cilantro in there. We're just going to go ahead and add all of these ingredients before we mix it all up because we want to make sure it's nice and thick. And then our jalapeno, make sure that we add all of that, our two jalapeno peppers. And then our lime juice. So see we have a nice filled bowl ready to go. And I actually, I like to add a little more lime so I'm going to go ahead and get my lime squeezer here and Squeezing one more line just to make sure that we get that all nice and juicy. All right. Now we need to add our Tabasco sauce. Now I just like to put a couple of shakes all in here. It comes out kind of slowly. Just get a couple of shakes there. And we want to make sure we're adding our pepper and our salt. All right. Mix it once again. All right. And I think we're ready for a taste. Okay. Now that we've assembled everything, for best results, we want to assemble it 24 hours in advance. Go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. Make sure it's covered. And let it marinate. Let the shrimp marinate overnight. Um, and then, if you are one of those that loves the avocado, this is also a great ingredient to add, but don't add it until the very end, right before serving. You wanna cut it up and cube it and go ahead and put it in. So now to get a taste. Now I need my best taste tester over here. All right, Sophia, let's see, what do you think? That 
is really good. <laughs> Always make sure that whenever you're doing any type of shrimp dish, that you go to your local grocery store and look for the bag with the cowboy riding the shrimp and ask for that Philly seafood. Thank you. Yeah, my own.